Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to use Odoo. Now, if you are unfamiliar, it is an absolutely amazing, powerful tool to um, streamline all of the processes in your business. So, let's get in. The first thing you need to do is jump onto odoo.com and go to the button right at the top it says start now it's free and literally you get some free services so you can go ahead and once you've done that you will basically have a chance to choose from one of these um, apps or one of these um, funnels okay so what we're going to jump into is the crm now by far their crm module is absolutely amazing so once you go into crm you will find this page now know that this all is also available um, you can go ahead and you can have a look at whatever other apps they offer you can also um, manage your contacts here you can manage your um, calendar you can organize your calendar um, if you have team members you want to um, manage all your discussions with it's all in there and then of course you can have a look at setting up your account and your profile including your look and feel um, in settings all right so once you've gotten all that done you will get into this page over here now this is where the magic happens first of all on the left hand side you can see um, here you can manage all of your sales um, your pipeline activity um, all of your team members and then also all of your customers you can see all of this on one screen in one place then also you have your basic um, reporting uh, so you can see a forecast your pipelines leads and your activities and then of course you can um, configure everything that you need uh, within your profile uh, with regards to your sales team uh, all of your activity types your plans tags um, and then your um, lead mining which we will get into in just a second so on the right hand side you can also change the view um, you've got your basic kanban and lists graphs you've got um, pivots calendars and it's endless there's so many options so getting into the nitty gritty here on the top left you can enter in a new contact right now um, there are many crm platforms that actually allow you to do this and that is amazing the thing that we're looking for is the generate leads now odoo actually allows you to generate leads okay they actually give you leads so if you go in here you can go ahead and it says um, it gives you a number and companies so you can say three companies you can say five companies and then you can have just their companies or you can include companies as well as their contacts. Now we want to do that because we want companies with their appropriate contacts. Okay, you can now have a look um, for uh, a country of choice. So we're just going to go ahead and say United States. And here you can pick the specific states that you would like. Okay, that's fine. We're going to also then go ahead and choose an industry. Okay, so what industry are we looking for so let's go ahead and let's say media we can now either filter on size or not i'm going to leave that off because we want every type of um, media company within the united states so that we can have as much um, as possible to work with so we're having five extra contacts per company you can change that number again literally just by clicking on that and then you can either filter by role or by seniority now if we go into role um, you can now choose the preferred role so if you're looking at a media company um, we're looking at um, maybe speaking to um, the consulting department you can add an additional role here you can search for more uh, you can see that there are tons you can also go in and actually search by group you can filter it down or if you have a favorites list you can use that all right once you're done on the right hand side you can assign this um, group to a sales team if you have multiple sales teams you can assign it to a specific sales person and then also you can enter the tags that you would like associated with these leads okay so for now we're going to leave it just as that and at the bottom you're going to just say generate leads 
So once you tap on generate leads, you'll see on the left hand side, you have um, these three um, leads that have been generated. Now, this is amazing. When you go in here, right, you can actually see all of the details of the actual leads. Now, I did change the details slightly in terms of um, the uh, country and um industry that I was searching for, but the, the concept here stays the same. I have now the contact details for all of these companies. Okay. So what's nice about this now is you can color code and customize every one of these cards. So on the top right, you can see it has this little drop down menu. You can say, um, let's say we want to make this one red and we would like to make this one yellow and we would like to make this one green. OK, this just could be your way of organizing areas, could be organizing importance. It could be organizing any way that you would like to organize it. This little icon over here shows the salesperson or the owner of the card. And once you go in here, you can actually um, enter the expected um, revenue over here. OK, you can also um, change the probability. So how the probability works is um, as you are creating your cards and generating new leads, it'll actually start to generate its own probability for you per lead that you have. You can now also edit all of the details here of this customer or this lead that you've generated. Right, so once we go out here, you can clearly see that there are a few headings. It says new qualified proposition one and stage. So what are these things and these are basically the different levels of your leads so let's say we've spoken to this company and we have qualified them that is amazing you can change the priority here as well and also you can show the activity on this actual card now let's say that this um, company or this one has been now qualified and this has moved over to this card over here and you can see now that it has given you a total okay so you can actually manage everything one by one you can actually even move this over and once you hit this stage over here they give you a little congratulations and um because this now is the stage where you have won the deal or won over the lead so this is a great way of customizing um, your look. And again, as I said earlier on, you can change the way um, you can actually view this. So you can actually see it in many different ways. If you are using dates, you can then also use it in the calendar date. So the next thing I want to show you is that you can actually customize the actual list fields over here. So um, you can edit it. There are tons of automations that you can create you can create rules as you can see on the right hand side over here and this is um just to make your life a whole lot easier so for example let's just say every single time a card comes into here um we are going to set up that um it automatically gets moved over there within 14 days or within seven days or whatever the case may be. So you can really customize your workflow. Now, if you are not using Odoo yet, let us know in the comment section below what platform you are using and let us know what you think of Odoo. And we'll see you in another awesome video. Cheers.